What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be working on our Dodge Ram, but I wanna give you guys a little update on the Mustang. If you guys haven't seen the latest video, we did some cutting on the frame rails. We lowered them down, got the engine height perfect. Also went ahead and threw in the seat and it lines up pretty good. There's enough headroom all up through there. So that's all gonna work out. Some people were saying the frame rails were a little too high or something, but that worked out good. Now let's go see what we're gonna be doing on our 2018 Dodge Ram. So what we're gonna be doing on this Dodge Ram is basically prepping it out for a paint. But before we do that, I want you guys to meet my dad. He's been helping me this entire way. This is actually his shop. For all you guys that were wondering, you're always commenting. This is my dad's shop. We've been working here for the past eight years, I think. And that's kind of where I got all my experiences from him. Does some good framework. Hello, we do. <laughs> Now let's get back to work on this. So the first thing we're gonna do on this truck is actually sand this up a little bit more and we're gonna just reprime everything because we did have a couple of sand throughs right here to the Bondo and we don't really want that. We wanna give it a nice even new coat of primer and it's not gonna take too long. So let's do a little bit more sanding and tape it up and get it primed in. So we got everything nice and sanded over here. Now what we're gonna do is throw some tape on there, put the plastic cooler wrap and get it primed in. So we got everything nice and taped up. All we need to do now is wipe down the surface and prime it in.
So we got everything nice and primed out over here. Now it's gonna take some time to dry. So in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and get this front windshield out because it is busted and it's gonna be nicer before we do any painting over here. Go ahead and just cut it out so we don't like scratch anything once we get all the new paint on there. So let's grab the windshield gun and cut this thing out. So we got everything off. We got the windshield cowl and the moldings that go on the side. Now we're gonna be using our equalizer windshield gun. Why you guys have been asking me where I got this bad boy? You can get them on Amazon or anywhere else. And we are also gonna be using some water, which is just gonna cool it all down because this blade will get hot. I've actually burned myself a couple of times. So let's go ahead and use this water on the windshield and cut it out. So we got the front windshield cut out and we're still waiting on the primer to dry on the cab section but we do have some new parts for the front end. We actually have this piece right here that we're going to have to replace. As you can see it is broken off right there and there's no damage anywhere over here. And we also have a new one of these. This is the bumper bracket kind of bent it in right there. And we also have a new one over here so let's go ahead and get both of these pieces on the truck. So we got the old bracket off. We did have to do a little bit of cutting right there just to get it off because it was bent. But we have the new one all nice and set up. But before we put that on, I actually want to replace this piece right here because there are bolts from the back and it's just gonna be a lot easier to replace this piece and then put this bracket back on. So let's go ahead and get this piece off.
So we got everything bolted on up front. Everything is looking back to OEM specs. We got the headlight bracket on and the bumper bracket. Everything else in the front is done. And the coolest thing about this truck is we didn't have to mess with anything in the front. So the radiator support, the radiators are all factory, which is pretty cool. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and start sanding the side, the cab section, and then we can get this thing painted. So we got all the primer nice and sanded down. Now it's time to just pull this truck into the paint booth, get it all taped up and get it painted. So we got this giant truck inside the paint booth. It barely fit, it just narrowly missed the roof, but let's go ahead and give this thing a nice wipe down, tape it up, and then we'll get the painter in here. So we got everything nice and taped up in here and it is ready to paint. All we're gonna have to do is do one more nice little clean. But let's go into the paint mix room and mix some paint. So we're in the paint mixing room right now. So what are we gonna do first? Well, we're gonna start with the sealer because the primer actually needs to be sealed before we put any base coat on it. And then we also have our paint right here. This is a Sickens Auto Base Plus. We got it from CarQuest. They hooked us up with it. So big shout out to them. If you ever need any paint or any auto body supplies, head over to your local CarQuest and hook it up. Now let's go ahead and mix this stuff up and get it sprayed on.
We got the sealer sprayed down. Now we're getting ready to spray the base. All right, guys, we got the first layer of base coat down. We're gonna give it about 10 minutes, tack it, and put another coat. So Paul did an absolutely stunning job on the paint work. Everything turned out really cool. That's gonna be a wrap for today's video. In the next episode, we will be painting the doors because we did just order them and they actually came in today and there was no room in the paint booth to put them in here. So we'll get them painted later. And then we can go ahead and throw everything back together in there. Now, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram to get an inside scoop on the builds, go ahead and do that at VTune. And also head over to VTune.com to copy some fire merch. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications. Thanks for watching.